besties welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here today and clicking on today's video if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe to my channel i have some laundry to do today you guys so i hope i can give you some laundry motivation to tackle your laundry and get it done with me today i already have a load going right now in the dryer i'm really trying to use up all of the products that i have until i buy a new product i've been using white vinegar in my laundry instead of fabric softener for the girls clothes i've been using this uh newborn dress i got this on sale at dollar general on a couponing deal so that's why i currently have that and i usually always use like a free and clear detergent for them anyways and then i've been using the persil i love the smell of persil you guys and you can always smell it on the clothes even after they get out the dryers i'm gonna definitely start picking this up for the girls clothes one of you lovely besties let me know about this all this is the sensitive fresh and this is the spring breeze y'all it smells so good like I hope it's not like a limited time thing if so I'm just gonna order it on Amazon or wherever I can get it because it smells so good so I'm gonna start using that for the girls clothes after I'm done using this draft right now for dryer sheets I have the bounce lasting fresh these are the mega mega sheets so you just need one sheet for each load that you do I have just got done washing some curtains and these are my oh cedar mop heads I went to go mop and didn't have a clean one so we love that I really need to retire these or get some new ones or soak them in some bleach our clothes need to be sorted and then we are going to get started I probably have about three to four loads to tackle today all right while this is filling up I'm gonna go ahead and sort these Two baskets right here i'm gonna do light with light and dark with a dark all right you guys so like i said i like to sort khalif and i's clothes light with light and dark with the dark and then when it comes to washing my girls clothes like i always tell you guys i have a seven year old and i have a five year old and i pretty much just keep their clothes all together and just throw them in the washing machine and hope just for the best <laughs> sometimes i do use those color catcher sheets but i don't always pick them up from walmart it's honestly just when i remember to pick them up and i usually always remember what shirts have stains on them so i knew that that shirt that i had wore to work had a stain on it i had dropped something on it and then for the most part um, I'm just going to go through and look through the clothes, turn them right side out, and throw them in the washing machine. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. First load is in the washer, and now I have actually more towels to wash. So one load of towels. That will either be one or two loads of dark clothes and then the girls' clothes. Now that our load is done in the washing machine, I'm going to go ahead and put what I want to put in the dryer. But when it comes to my jeans and my shirts, I like to hang them on my drying rack. You guys always ask me about my drying rack. I have had it for a very long time. I love it because it holds so many clothes on it. Um, I'm sure you can look up look one up on Amazon or Target even Walmart and find something similar I'm all for hanging my clothes I feel like they smell so much better sometimes after being in the dryer regardless of using dryer sheets they just do not smell that good but I promise you with this Persil laundry detergent you're definitely gonna smell your clothes oh, he got me good in his pocket I know that let me know in the comments are you guys a dryer type of person or do you like to hang your clothes on a drying rack or outside to dry some of us are not fortunate enough to have dryers to dry our clothes but if i had to dry my clothes outside i would be perfectly fine with that yeah. 
moving right along to our second load of laundry i'm using every little bit of this persil you guys i even put water in it and then i'll shake it up so i can get every last drop because baby prices are too high and this laundry detergent is too expensive for us not to use every last bit of it let me know in the comments today you guys what you guys are doing while you guys are watching today are you tackling some laundry with me is today your laundry day do you have a few more days until laundry day let me know in the comments i would love to talk with you guys and if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would love to have you join us my name is alexia i have two beautiful baby girls and yeah i'm just sharing my life bit by bit here on my youtube i post a lot on tiktok as well i'm just doing this working life mom um there's really no rule book to it every day is different and i would just love for you to follow along with my journey and there's no niche around here you guys i like to post whatever all type of mommy motivation laundry motivation cleaning motivation and daily vlogs and you can check out some of my shorts on my channel for some 60 second motivation or some mini vlogs so i'm sure there's something on my channel you guys will enjoy and to all my returning besties thank you so much for being here for me and always showing up and watching my videos it means so much and more than you will ever know yeah, you say you're special one of a kind one of the better boys i'm on you please make sure you guys are checking your dryer vent I like to check mine every one to two loads depending on what I wash because some creates more lint than others. I needed a few more things to add to make this a full load so I was going around the house and just grabbing any dirty towels or dirty rags that I seen. I have slowly started to switch away from fabric softener and I have been using white vinegar. I have been loving it so much and then I do still use my scent beads but I'm trying to drift away from those just a little bit. I got some downy rinse and re refresh. I currently have some of that um like real time while i'm filming this voiceover because i filmed this video probably over a week ago <laughs> real life over here realistic that's just what happens you gotta make time for what you want when you can definitely being a working mom and having a household to maintain y'all see that little trick right there i wish it was just that fast where the laundry was there and then it wasn't there and it was just where it needed to be in the dresser and in the closet <laughs> I love washing the girls clothes because it's so straightforward like I pretty much use um, a detergent and then a little bit of white vinegar and then I'm good to go I always just have to turn their clothes right side out because they're always putting their clothes in the dirty hamper all type of ways which it's okay because that's what mommy's here for when it comes to washing your clothes I'll just get them all right and then I'm gonna make sure I'm checking for any type of stains that the girls might have on their clothes can tell so deep under my spell sorry not sorry that i'm no help cause i'm full of myself boy don't you worry you'll find someone someone who wants you back but that is not me so give it up haven't you had enough i'm too busy loving my friends i ain't got no love to spare for you i'ma be that girl to the end it don't really matter what you do guess i 
something that has really been helping me tackle my laundry faster throughout the day is making sure I throw a load in in the morning time if that's the day that I want to go ahead and start my laundry because I do try to tackle it all in one day so I can just get it done unless I need to do those random loads throughout the week but once the load is done in the dryer I like to go ahead and make sure that I take it out so I can put it away we'll fold it and then put it away and then move right along to our next load that's just what tries to help me tackle it quicker because this is such a daunting task like laundry come on now I wish it was just one two three but it's not it's a few more steps and then if you have towels to wash and you have kids it just can be a task that we hate to tackle I always make sure I throw on my favorite podcast or my favorite YouTube video to help me get this task done I just decided to go ahead and put Khalifa and I's clothes in this basket so I can go ahead and just fold it in our room so I would be able to easily put it away. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Sometimes I fold the girls clothes in the living room and then I'll bring them in the laundry basket and then just put them away. But today I just decided to keep everything in the laundry basket and then kind of fold and put away as I go. And it helped. I mean, either way, the job's going to get done. But I did like tackling it this way. So I'm going to fold their pajamas, their shorts, and their pants and put them away. And then I'm going to put their t-shirts on the dresser so I can hang them up in their closet. Their dresser is dying already of all of these clothes that are stuffed in the drawers. I really need to declutter the girls clothes again. I mean, their pajamas are just big, so they take up a lot of space. When I say big, I mean bulky because they're the wintertime pajamas, so I need to rotate those out and just leave the summer ones in there. I'm going to finish hanging the girl shirts and that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in my next one. Bye. Get in my way now. Don't be shy. We'll be here dancing.